but this looks exciting. This does look exciting. The Final Fantasy 30th anniversary um, is 2017. Um, 87. 1987 is when the first one came out. And it's kind of crazy that just shy of the 30th anniversary, we have number 15. I mean, average, that's two Final Fantasy, or that's one Final Fantasy every two years. That's not bad, considering the qual the overall quality of the series. Say what you want, they're, they're quality games that they don't just churn out on a yearly basis. Yeah, and that's not including the handhelds. Or the, sp- yeah, the, the, han- the handhelds, the spinoffs, the remasters, like everything that we've had um, regarding Final Fantasy is just, it's just an, an insane amount of content in 30 years. Especially with how pretty they all look. Yeah, they're, say what you want, they're all good looking games. Every single one of them. Um, so, on January 31st, um, we are going to have... Um, I guess they're going to kick off the 30th anniversary um, for the series. And it's apparently going to be limited to 200 guests. Um, But I'm sure whatever they reveal is going to, of course, you know, hit the internet and you'll be able to see what's happening. Um, And of course, a lot of people, myself included, are wondering when we're going to hear about more Final Fantasy VII Remake news. Because I don't know if you noticed, E3 came and went, PlayStation Experience came and went, Gamescom, I think in Germany is what it's called, came and went. Yeah. No Final Fantasy VII Remake news. And, I mean, probably the reason for... I would say the reason for that is because the focus has been on fifteen and getting that released and... Um, not wanting to steal its thunder. So, but now that it's released, and as of the 30th, it will it will have been out for a little over two months, I think it's safe to move on and actually talk about what else you've got coming down in the pipeline for Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like a remake. I, Just saying. If, if they're not going to be showing a release date, I imagine it's going to be game footage. Yeah. And what was so crazy um, that we saw last year, I want to say it was E3 that yeah. they did the initial announcement and it was just a CG, a CG trailer. Um, and then in like December, um, during the PlayStation experience, we got like that all that amazing like in-game footage running on Unreal Engine 4 and like everyone looking incredible on it. Um, hopefully we see more of that. I'd love to see more characters introduced. I'd like to see, you know, Aerith, Tifa, Red 13. Uh, yeah, man, if they really want to spoil us, give us a shot, uh, just a quick tease of what Sephiroth is going to look like in the game because we haven't seen him yet at all. We've just seen Cloud Barrett um, and then the rest of uh, Big Wedge and Jesse with Avalanche. Um, I can't wait for this game to come out. And I just feel like the longer we go where we don't hear anything, it's going to basically like, oh, well, it's been pushed to like PlayStation 5 now. Or, I mean, they're not beyond doing that. They really aren't. I mean, you saw what happened with Final Fantasy 13 versus. It started out as a PlayStation 3 exclusive, turned into Final Fantasy 15, and it's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I don't really care that much about console exclusivity anymore, other than it slows down development. Um, I do. Huh? Oh, you do? I do. When Kingdom Hearts 3 was like, hey, it'll be on the Xbox One, I got super excited. I'm like, oh, wait. No, it won't. I like. I wanted to punch. Oh, one it's of them. not. No. Oh, that does yeah. stink. Unless I what I've been, been told is a lie, in I, which case I need to punch two people. Because in January we're getting um, we're getting Kingdom Hearts two point eight, and then in March I want to say they're releasing one point five and two point five HD 
remakes in one package for PlayStation 4. And I've been wondering, I'm like, okay, what's the deal? If 3 is supposed to be coming out on Xbox One, why aren't you going to release these on Xbox One as well? But if they're not, that makes sense. Yeah, made me a little upset. but Yeah, that does stink. I mean, my when I say I don't care about console ex- exclusivity, like I don't care that like I own a PlayStation 4. I don't care anymore if it's just on PlayStation 4. Like, or if it's also on Xbox. Like, that doesn't bother me. Like it it used to when I was younger and I was just kind of a fanboy. Um, like, I don't care if Legend of Zelda is no longer, you know, solely on Nintendo products. Like, that doesn't bug me either. Um, that would be kind of cool when you think about it. But it's probably never going to happen. Um, but yeah, I I would love to get more information on the remake uh, if they could give us some updated footage. I mean, some of the footage that we saw last year was a little bit rough. Talking about frame rates earlier, the frame rate didn't hold up too well during uh, battle scenes, but it was like super smooth during the cutscenes. Um, so hopefully they've better optimize it i just hope it doesn't like take such a long time because even though they did say like the reason why they want to make it episodic in nature is so that they can release it that much faster uh, that still makes me nervous because we haven't heard anything in over a year now and square enix they have a track record of (laughs) announcing something and then not telling us anything for years <laughs> when are they ever when is that ever even kind of happened you know i would joke along with you if it was funny but it's not funny to me <laughs> it's pretty sad <sighs> i'm sad but 30th anniversary for final fantasy um it is square enix's like main product that they produce if they you know were to to skip the 30th anniversary that would be a major major issue um final fantasy is their like prodigal son yeah that's what like made them prodigal son well like it's a weird term that's that's the (laughs) thing that saved them well yeah that was that was like a one-shot deal like i mean uh, i mean it wasn't really square so much as it was um (sighs) I can't believe I can't remember his name, but it doesn't work for Square anymore. It's like the main, the director of like the first, like nine, eight or nine Final Fantasies, maybe all the way up to 10, but like Hiroshi something. Um, It was going to be his last like game before he just outright left game development. But Square, yeah, you are correct. Square was not doing well when they released Final Fantasy. No. Um, that's why they're called Square Enix now. It's them and well, that happened in like 2002. I mean, that did happen like years and years later. That was actually more more to save Enix than anything else. Um, Square was doing fine at that point, but we will just wait till January 30th, and I'm sure we'll be talking about whatever they reveal here. <laughs> 